my dear students now we are going to look at design of three bit asynchronous account so what we want is asynchronous type what is asynchronous is the one which is having okay no common clock for the flip flops so what exactly it is how exact it look like okay and what exactly the steps that we need to follow so that we can design three bit asynchronous up counter we will look into it so what we need to, to do is we need to find the number of flip flops required as usual whether it is synchronous or asynchronous number of flip flops so as a step one we will be looking at number of flip flops so as usual what is this is three bit so three bit stands for three flip flops because in one bit i can store i can store in a one flip flop obviously when i require a three bit counter asynchronous counter i need three flip flops choose the type of the flip flop you can you can use sr flip flop you can use jk flip flop you can use t flip flop you can use d flip flop whatever may be the flip flop that you are using but it should be in toggle mode okay so it's if what is counter counter is counting from okay 0 1 2 3 that means what is happening the contents of the flip flop are changing flipping flip flop it means it's gone changing so 0 0 0 0 1 okay say if in our case we are dealing with only 3 bit right so i need not write 4 bit so right exactly so 0 1 0 what is happening here it was 0 now it is become 1 it was 0 it is becoming 1 0 1 1 it was 0 it is becoming 1 okay likewise what exactly happening is either maybe 0 becomes 1 or 1 may become 0 this is what exactly known as flipping so this is there in t flip flop directly when t is equals to 1 so if you want that property in d just convert to d to t and use d as a t flip flop you convert jk into t and use a flip flop or you can convert sr into t then you can use it as a flip flop for asynchronous counters even in synchronous counters also in the process of designing it will get converted to t everything will be get converted to t whether it is jk or sr or d it will get converted in the process of conversion but in case of asynchronous counters we do need to directly take any flip flop as t flip flop okay as usual we need to look into what exactly the state diagram how it will move from one state to the other state then uh, we were we have seen excitation tables with respect to synchronous but here we are going to see the truth tables okay so how this uh, uh, will be is like uh, in your asynchronous counter let's say if this is an asynchronous counter for this there is only one input what is that is clock for the clock what you are going to get is we will be observing these contents of the register or contents of the flip flops let's say you have say three flip flops for those three flip flops upon application of the clock how they are changing we will be observing okay we will be looking at qa we will be looking at qb we will be looking at qc initially it will be 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 then 0 1 0 then 0 1 0 1 1 one zero zero likewise it is going to improve it's gone change so the input is input to the asynchronous counter asynchronous counter input to the asynchronous counter is what exactly asynchronous counter is just clock okay so we will be giving clock, we will be getting the output. That's all. So, input is clock, output is counting sequence. Okay. Now, if you can also see like this if present state is 0, 0, 1, it will go to the next state 0, 0, 1. If present state is 0, 0, 1, it will go to the next state 0, 1, 0. Okay. In this way also, we can see. Okay. So, what is state diagram? This 
the state diagram is the one which shows how exactly transition is taking place. So what I am discussing here, we as we have seen, you can implement it in state diagram. Okay. Then if it is a 3 bit counter, I need not stop in between. So I need not have a reset logic. I don't want to stop in between. If it is a mod counter, this is step is optional. Optional in the sense whether you are, if you are building say mod 8, mod 16, okay, mod 32, for all these things, what is required is, okay, there is no need of generation of reset logic. We need, need, we need not reset it in between. Let's say if it is a mod 5 count, I need to reset in between. If it is a mod 15 count, asynchronous, I need to reset in between. I need to stop in between. Okay. So for those things, I need to work it on a reset. Otherwise, nothing is required. We will draw the circuit. Okay. Then we will look at the, we can look at the timing diagram from which we can understand how exactly the counting sequence is obtained. Okay. So let's suppose if it is a uh, three bit asynchronous up counter, how exactly the states will be as usual. Okay. As we are aware of. Right. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So from here to here, it will move one state to the other state. This is what exactly known as, okay, state diagram. Whether it's synchronous or synchronous, doesn't matter. This is your state diagram, which we know already. So let's say this is present state, present state. Then uh, what exactly it is, this is QA, QB, QC, QA plus 1, that is QB plus 1, QC plus 1, next okay. That means initially if it is at 0, 0, 0, it will go to 0, 0, 1. If it is at 0, 0, 1, it will go to 0, 1, 0. If it is 0, 1, 0, it will go to 0, 1, 1. Likewise, it will go, that is what exactly. The counting sequence, what is there in the state diagram, it is shown with respect to the states, how exactly present state to next state transition happens in case of the 3 bit asynchronous count. This is not new. Okay. Now, what exactly that we try to do is next step, what is that step is we need to look at the truth table. What is truth table? Input output relations. So, what is input output relations? Is there any input output relation? What is input? Input is good. What is output? Output is state. Okay. Output is state of the count. So clock 1 is applied. State is 0, 0. Clock 2 is applied. State is 0, 0. Clock 3 applied. So what I can do is to convert this into truth table. Present state and next state relation I have to. I can also make this as truth table or I can write the table. So just let me write this. Okay. For a second clock pulse it will become. One. For third, 0, 1, 0. For fourth clock pulse, it is 0, 1, 1. For fifth clock pulse, it is 1, 0, 0. For sixth clock pulse, it is 1, 0, 1. Okay. Upon application of the clock pulse, it is going to change. So next clock pulse, 1, 1, 0. Next clock pulse, 1, 1. So after 8 clock pulses, your counter will move from state 0 to state 0. 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. Okay. For this, what we are trying to do is, I will take a T flip flop. I will take a flip flop. What I am doing is, I am taking three T flip flops, which are capable of toggling. So, this will toggle. If I, let us say this is flip flop A. Let us say this is flip flop B. Let us say this is flip flop. Now this I am making it to 1 which is TA, this is TB which I am making it as 1, next is TC which is also I am making it as 1. So for the circuit what is the input is, input is clock, let us say active low clock, clock input. There will be active low asynchronous inputs 
which are nothing but clear and precise. What I try to do is I will connect all the clears together. If I make this clear is equals to 1, then the circuit will function normally. That means the flip loss will not be get cleared. I will take presets. I will connect all the presets of this flip loss. I will connect it to 1. Okay. This is known as preset. Preset. This is known as clear. This clear is to clear the all flip flops whenever I want. If I give clear equal to 0, clear equal to 0, it clears everything. So, what I will get is QA becomes 0, QB becomes 0, and QC becomes 0. Let us say if I make preset is equal to 0, preset is equal to 0, then it will make QA is equal to 1, QB is equal to 1. QC is equal to 1. So, to load values to initialize it, what I can do is I can make either preset is equal to 0 or 1. If I make it 1, it is not going to load any value. If I make it is equal to 0, it is going to give 1. It will get loaded with 1. Okay. So, likewise, what I can do is either I do clear. Either I do preset. I don't do both of them at the same time. We never say that you load 0 and load 1 at the same time. No. Either you load 1 into the or you load or I can say if this is 0, this can be 1. If this is 1, this can be 0. If this is 0, this can be 1. Either of them should be low, but not both. That means we never say clear and preset. Load 0, load 1. No. Either you load 0 or you load 1. This is how exactly we can do it. This is with respect to asynchronous inputs present for the flip flops. Now, all these three flip flops are in toggle mode. Why toggle mode? Because the input is. So, what I try to do is I will give you the clock to the circuit. If I give the clock to the circuit, what exactly how exactly the clock will be is clock will be running like this. Clock is running like this. When the clock is running like this, okay. So what exactly happens is every time this becomes initially it is zero, this is zero, this is zero. Okay, when we start. So when you give the clock pulse during the this negative clock pulse means this is negative going, this is positive going. So when going from one to zero, this is going to change. That means for this it will become one. So this will become one. So, then every time, whenever, what is the next pulse here, next pulse over here, next pulse here, next pulse here, next pulse here, for every transition from 1 to 0, we will change this content. Okay. Now, this is input to first flip flop here. Output QA of this flip flop is applied to clock of next flip flop. So, first what we try to do is, from the clock, from the operation of T flip flop, we will get QA. What is the operation of flip flop? When T is 1, the toggle flip flops always toggles. Means if it initially it is 0, initially if it is 0, it will become 1 till the next, next trigger. Then what is next trigger? Going from 1 to 0. Why 1 to 0? It's because of this bubble. Okay. Next it will be constant in that state till the next transition. After the next transition, it is going to change. Then this. This process of working is known as toggling. Initially, it was at 0. Now, it has become 1. Then, it is changed to 0. 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, this we have got it from the clock. Next, what exactly that we are going to do is, now this is the clock for transistor B, uh, sorry, this is resistor B or flip flop B. So, QB, I will get it when I use QA as a clock. So, when I use the QA, initially QB was 0. Okay. Now, when there is a transition happening with respect to QA, it is happening at this. 
Yes, yes, yes. So what exactly happens is this will be initially zero. This will be one. This will be one. Then next it will be going to zero till the next one. Okay. So it will be zero zero. This is one. Similarly, I can continue this further. Okay. One zero. Now what exactly this one? This is zero. This is one. This is zero. This is one. So zero one zero one zero one zero one zero. So when this is acting as a clock, till the next negative clock edge, it will go. It will be like this till the next clock edge, and it is going to. Go. So zero zero one one zero zero. Okay. Now this is what exactly the thing. Now what exactly that I am trying to say is, this is the input to the next. Clip. So whatever is there here will be input to this. So this acts as a clock to QC. So what I try to do is I will get the QC. How exactly initially QC is zero when it is started. It will be there zero when the first negative clock edge occurs to QC. So this is going to happen at this point, right? So this will be one, one, okay? Till the next. So here it is changing. Here it is going to change. So one. Then followed by, okay, zero, zero, zero. Four. As of now, I can show only two because still I need to go ahead. So what I can say now is, what I can say now is, I can collect the values. What exactly that I have got it? What exactly the values I got it is? I look at Q A is L S P. So what I try to do is I collect the values of Q A, Q B, Q C to check what is happening with Q A, Q B, Q C. Q A zero, Q B zero, Q C zero. So here it is zero zero zero. If I see here it is zero zero one. Q C zero, Q B zero. Okay. Just uh, change the colors. So, so this is zero. This is zero. This is zero. This is one. This is zero. So next is. Zero one zero. Next you see zero one one. So one one zero. I am collecting in this fashion. Q A Q B Q C. This is Q C. This is Q B. This is Q A. So next what is Q C? Q C is one. Q B zero. Q A zero. What about this? One zero one. What about this? One one zero. What about this? One one one. See this one one. So what is happening? If you look at this, it is starting from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1
asynchronous count. How we will do? How do we will stop the counting in between? How exactly we will generate the logic? Okay. That generation of logic is called reset logic. So in this three-bit asynchronous counter, okay, we have never looked into this step five. We are not doing any reset logic in between. We have drawn a circuit diagram. What is the reason why I showed it is optional? Okay. So draw the circuit, draw the diagram. Clear?